So on today's episode, we're going to be prepping the Murano for paint. You know how much I love that. What, what the... Well, just grab my ears while you f my butt. <laughs> yep. Still available. I wish this happened like every time I went to paint, just come out and it's done. I need to hire like a, a prepper. Y just so I, I don't have to. Just, yeah, that's, I did this. Okay, I did this. Off camera. Everybody knows my favorite part is getting ready for paint, prep work, and uh, trying to film it and do it at the same time takes even more time so it makes me have to do it even longer than i want to so we just skipped the filming part and went ahead and did it and she's ready so we're painting on this episode yeah oh yeah so i'm gonna wear a full paint suit again i've got different ones i'm gonna try them we're gonna lay down sealer on most of the fender try to stay away from the door area uh, the whole hood yeah, the whole hood, and the whole bumper, and the bumper plug, and then the center section back here on this. And get all of that stuff sealed in. Then we're going to do base coat and clear coat. Pull up a chair, grab some Cheetos, make sure your pants are on, and let's do this. So areas we really don't need to focus on would be, I, I scuffed it a little bit, but in here in this track that's where your flare goes i made sure to sand it good around the edge but yeah inside of this pocket i did sand inside of there so paint will stick but not really a necessity because a fog light and a bezel goes in there this whole bottom part of the bumper stays bare on these so i do have the grill in that already no reason in taking it out but since we have that surface i put the the tow hook plug on here I put adhesion promoter on it, primered it, and then sanded that so it's ready. I want to do the whole bumper in adhesion promoter. Even though it has primer on it, there's sections where I may have sanded through, so we're going to do adhesion promoter on that. Um, over here, sanded all this with like 600 closer to the door here. Um, this flare area, it's not a necessity to get painted. I'm, I am painting it. Yeah, I didn't take these plugs out. I really don't care. Uh, this gets covered with a flare, so we're going to paint that to the best of our abilities. The hood's already black, but it was just in bad condition, so we're just we're just redoing it. Head scratches all through it. I sanded down where the scratches were, the, the deep scratches, and sanded those out so it's smooth again. Back here, we ended up sanding through most of my uh, primer, but it's smooth, so we're going to roll with that. And That's why we're throwing sealer on. It's going to seal that in. It's going to be gonna be good but I sanded up here with 600 and but, but we're probably gonna go ahead and paint that that's not up against the painted surface any of this down here well I mean we're gonna have to paint it anyways and we're gonna be close to the door so I mean there might be a little bit of a shade difference I don't know blacks normally it's black as long as it's the right shade of black, we should be good. <laughs> we have our one vent fan going. I did order. I ordered a second one. I got it. And uh, turns out the fan without the thermostat, you have to wire in. So it doesn't come with the plug needed to go into that thermostat. So you actually have to buy the fan with the thermostat again. So I did. I'm not sure if I'm going to hook it into that thermostat or if I'm going to put it over here on this wall. Uh, with its own thermostat. I haven't decided yet. It would be a lot easier just to plug it into that one and put it over there. So it might be the way we go. But still, um, I did order that. I was hoping it would be here before I painted. So we had more fumes going out. But 
you know, we've done without it up to this point, so what's the difference? Still waiting on the title for that, and then it will go. I haven't been driving it. Uh, this, I have people interested in it. There should be one more video after this, because i got to put it back together. I have to put all the trim pieces in the bumper, wire the fog light. This fog light ripped off, but I have the harness on the back of the bumper, so I have to wire that in. I also have to put the fuel door release handle in and then and put it all back together but uh that should be like one video so yeah all right well let's uh let's get ready and then start with sealer i'm gonna wet the floor around the bumper uh i really don't feel a need to wet the floor anywhere else because i'm not gonna be spraying the only place i'm gonna be spraying by the floor is the bottom of that fender okay i'll wet the floor around there just to keep the dust down but yeah oh before we do that Let's wipe everything down. I wiped everything down with alcohol and water. We're going to wipe it down with a uh, grease and wax remover now. Um, just to make sure there's there's nothing on there that's going to keep the paint from sticking. Uh, then after that, I have to do some self-etching primer on a couple spots of the hood. And, a couple, and right here, I can see some bare metal right at the edge of that. So we're going to hit that up here, right there. And you know a couple areas where we got bare metal showing we're gonna hit that with self-etching primer then we're gonna hit this with the, the adhesion promoter and then we're gonna do sealer so let's get that all done real quick and then we'll get into that Alright, I had one oopsie in that whole uh, time I did that, and that was I got a little bit too much of the adhesion promoter right right in here, and it started to run. So I wiped it off and then resprayed it, but I noticed when I wiped it off, it takes the primer off with it. So hopefully we don't have any problems there. I did do a second coat right there, and I don't see any build up or anything down in here I can kind of see you see that little bit of stuff but you can see the adhesion promoter left like white residue I don't remember it doing that but we'll we'll see what happens hopefully I don't have to redo the bumper because that would be horrible but uh, this stuff I think you have to leave it for a half an hour before you're supposed to spray over it and then you have a large window I think it's like 24 hours after that to spray I'm not very confident with my paint job today so far well not that I'm not confident with it but uh worried because I there's a couple bugs flying around in here and I hate when I get bugs in the paint so we'll see what happens yep let it dry for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then you have uh, within 24 hours or you can scuff and reapply so I, we're gonna hit that window I'm pretty sure <laughs> but let's mix up our sealer we're doing dark gray dark gray is typically what you use with a black paint or a darker paint you would think it would be uh, a black sealer but for a shop line it is a dark gray that's what they call for so there's a fly just flying around my head you're I know it he's gonna end up in my paint I'm gonna tell you that right now I don't know what it is but when they see clear coat, they're like, mmm, and then they just jump right in it. I hate it. There's really nothing I can do, but I hope it gets close to that vent fan. It sucks them right out. I have not painted all summer, so I'm nervous because it's been a while. I was, like, uh, really into it there for a while, and now it's like, ooh, got out of it. I need to make sure I have uh, my light charged for my uh, clear coat uh light okay, so my sealer's mixed up i tested it on this ant colony that's crawling on my tarp now i'm going to spray acetone on them take care of that that's what you get 
That might be what was all over this tarp. I thought it was like insulation stuff. I, I don't know. I just noticed ants. And there they were. I hope they ain't in the C10. That'll be really be that'll be fun. Got sealer mixed up. I'm gonna start on the, the panels of the vehicle because that'll just give that a little bit more time. I think it's been about 20 minutes, honestly, but uh, just to be sure, we're gonna start over here. Most of the fender, all of the hood plug and bumper all in sealer so let's get started on that All right, now we're going to give that ample time to dry. Normally about half an hour, 45 minutes, somewhere around there. Then we're going to come back, we're going to mix up base coat, and then we're going to start spraying. I think really the only spot I'm going to blend is on the fender. And I just, I went ahead and sprayed that whole thing. I was just like, there's, there's no way I'm blending that as far out as the, the damage was. I uh, had to blend out onto the doors and the bumper. It'll be fine. Don't, 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 don't break dance in your paint suit. It seals the sweat in, and the flavor is like, uh, I'm marinating in this thing. It's like, it's, it's tight in my armpits. I don't like it. Uh, eh, it's 74 in here, which doesn't sound bad. That's over there though. I don't know if it's 74 right here. It's warm, okay? Anyways, I did end up throwing a little bit more sealer on this thing because uh, a couple of the spots I can still see uh, the bodywork underneath. Threw a little bit more on. Already mixed up the paint. It's already in the gun. I got to test spray a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna throw it on here, okay? Sounds like, sounds like a plan. That's what I thought. All right, game time. I'm gonna tell you right now, looking at it now with the paint on it, well, the base coat, I'm not 
very thrilled with my body work this time, but I'm not stopping, so we're gonna keep going anyways. First, I'm rusty, because it's been all summer, so I'm gonna I'm take that. <laughs> this next one to two coats, I'm gonna dial back uh, my uh, nozzle so it's not spraying as much. I feel like I was throwing way too much paint on there, and it was blotching up, and I think if I uh, toned that down a little bit and missed it on, we'll get a better coat. Plus, this does have a metallic in it, okay? So, mist coats really help with the metallic. Another thing I'm not happy with now that I'm looking at this, uh, my uh, my color coat is splotchy, and I know it's probably gonna look even worse with the clear one. I don't know, but look at that. And on the hood, and I tried misting it, and I still just got. I I don't know. I don't know. I if I've got to paint this again, that's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to get more paint. Now it looks like around the edges I did good, but like I don't, I don't, I don't man. I guess we're gonna throw some clear on it and see what it looks like. I hope, I hope it turns out good. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try this camera I've had forever and never use. So, cause it overheats. DJI, why, why did you make this camera? They could only last like 10 minutes. Yeah, it overheats after 10 minutes and shuts off. So we're gonna try it just for painting right now. I already have clear mixed up, so I'm going to get my gun set up, and we're going to go. So I'm pleasantly surprised at how good it looks just with the first coat on. I'm going to try something new. I talked to somebody else who said they do this. The next two coats, I'm going to hammer on at a really high air pressure. Like really high. Like 60 to 70. And I normally am only spraying at like 40. Okay. Um, it's really going to hammer the clear on there. But it should also really atomize. The only thing I... I don't know if my air compressor is going to keep up with that pressure, so I'm going to have to monitor my air pressure to see what's going on. But pleasantly surprised how good it looks so far, and even the bodywork doesn't look horrible on the front now. Black really shows out uh, imperfections, and it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. So here, here it is. There's a little bit of an imperfection right there, but besides that, it's really, that's, that's not horrible at all. The back back here too, I didn't really get to look at that too closely. Oh, the, the clear really did that justice, because I thought that was really going to show up. So, alright, we're going to give us plenty of time to dry, plenty. Well, I'm talking 
Well, it's actually really warm in here. So 74 degrees with a medium hardener, it should tack up pretty quick. And I didn't put it on that thick as well. So there, it looks like dry spray right now. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that in the next coats, but hopefully no runs. I do have a little bit of dry spray in some areas, but we'll take care of that after this tax and we go on to the next two coats that's when i do my best runs another thing i want to tell you is when it's hot like this periodically take your mask off and wipe the inside of it moisture will build up in there and then it'll start dripping out of the vent you see the moisture on my finger and if that drips on your paint bye bye nice paint job so clean your mask in between coats they, they keep it from dripping because if i'm like leaning over the hood and spraying and a drop of water goes down it's all over all right so the first coat actually went pretty good so let's go ahead and go on to the second coat and uh wish me luck okay because spraying at a different pressure than i'm used to so hopefully i don't put too much on and get some runs So you just decided, you just decided that I'm going to wait until we get to the second coat of clear. And then I'm going to get a closer look. You son of a... Yeah. Fly landed right here. I sprayed a little bit more clear over it. You could easily sand that out. Uh, clear. Uh, cut and buff it. So it's not real bad. I always have a problem getting a really glass finish on the hood. It looks good, but in person I can see uh, orange peel, whatever. And I'm still not impressed with these paint suits. I thought the paint suits would give me less trash in the paint because of my clothes and stuff like that. And I'm finding I'm getting like little hairs and stuff. And then if you look at these, there's like... You see how it's balling up and there's like little fine threads on. I think they're coming off the suit. So I pulled one off the bumper. I can still see some here and there. There's nothing I can do about it. It's time for the last and final coat. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. You know, coming from saying I thought it was going to be horrible. It's looking pretty good. So, all right. Last coat, high pressure, let's make it happen.
Now, as you can see, we got some trash up here in the paint. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And whatever, I, I can't do anything about it right now. Um, it looks like it's way off, and that's because the, the rest of the car is dirty. So you can see, now well, it's dirty and it needs polished. If I would polish this right along this door here, it would look a lot better. You see the all the swirls and stuff. So we might have to do a look. If I did, if I went and I polished these two doors, I did um, touch up these scratches. Now they're still there, but they're a little less noticeable from a distance. I just put unreduced paint and dabbed them in there. So we could like polish this section of the bumper. I don't want to do the whole thing, but and then. The bumper, the hood, and everything's gonna match out pretty good. Then we're also gonna have to polish probably this fender. Now it's really dirty. It's got uh, tape adhesive on there, um, you know. But I'm thinking to do this right, we're gonna need to polish at least part of this vehicle. But you can see how dirty and dusty it is. So it's definitely doesn't look right compared to this. But anyways on the next video hopefully slapping this thing back together having it done starting on the, well we won't do that on the next video but we'll be starting on the c10 yes i although i have been looking at the auction i haven't really been actively bidding because i need it i need to get the c10 done so i have not put anything in the mix if there was anything going in there's gonna be something spectacular so that's why nothing's because there's really nothing spectacular at the auction right now so Hey, it is what it is. I, I get this finish. I would like to move this. Would like to move the cruise, which the cruise is moving. I just I don't know how long it's going to be till I get the title. But once that comes, it's gone. And then uh, once those two move, I'm thinking about picking something up. Okay, I told you this is my year. I've uh, changed my mind in that department, but still something spectacular. But we'll get into that when it happens. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned so you know what it is. But anyways, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if I give your mom the wet look. And we'll see you on the next episode of R-Rack. We're all crowded around the floof. Because he's taking so long to eat, Sully. Why you take so long? Okay, well it does look like you ate most of it, so I'm going to let you out. Now everybody's like, okay, let's go check and see what's left. Stewie, you're, you're missing out. <clears throat> Stewie. Oh yeah, there you go. Get down in there. You really can't get past him. This, this monster. Ooh. You... <laughs> You growled at me. Come here. Come on. Let me let me see what you Oh my goodness. You you definitely are not getting in there. I don't think you have a chance either. He won't even let me in there. Let your mommy blow dry her hair? She always does. No. Okay, you wanna say bye bye to the people?